back-to-back -back games, what kind of challenge is there in facing a team on back-to-back -back weeks? Uh, I mean, a lot of challenges. I mean, you can't change too much, so you got to do some of the same things. But then you try to change a lot also to throw them off. So it's one of those things where you got to kind of find a groove of what they're trying to do again. Are they doing the same thing? Are they doing something different? Uh, I mean, it, it, quick turnaround for a lot of teams, not us. We got a full week in between, but I think that's the biggest part, man, trying to find out what they'll do. Same thing or something different. Yeah. Is it easier when you, you're coming off a win like you, like you guys had? Uh, I mean, I, I want to say it's a little bit easier, but then I don't want to be delusional because <laughs> I know we're going into their house. I mean, we just beat them, and it's the banjo bowl, so you got a lot of added factors in this one outside of just, just playing the team. To, to buy, uh, Back to back, like we did uh, Hamilton. Yeah, is is it allowed at uh, in Winnipeg for the Banjo Bowl? Is it is it hard to play in that stadium for the game? Oh yeah, pretty much, man. It, it gets pretty loud, and they got some rowdy fans too. Talk a lot of trash, <laughs> trying to get you out of the game, and a lot of different things. So yeah, I, I think it'll be a task playing there for sure. Yeah. Justin Goltz, uh, he looked good in the first half, and then you guys kind of figured him out a bit in the second half. Uh, what did you guys learn about him throughout that game? Uh, I mean, it was one of the things we had to look at what they were doing as a whole, as far as their, their formations, the whole group as a whole. I mean, he did a lot of good things also. He's a young guy that's coming in his league, making a name for himself in a good way out in Winnipeg. So, I mean, we just had to uh, try to lock down and find out what they were doing as a whole, as a whole offense. How nice is it that with the D-line that you guys have this year? How, how much easier is it to play a game when you guys when you just all four of you seem to work together so good oh man it, it's way easier than previous years that I've been here because you got a lot of guys with a lot of experience so you can say something to him and it's like oh okay right to it whereas if you say rookie yeah, we might do this 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 that he might give you that stun look like wait a minute well what do I do or where do I fit in in that so that makes it a little bit easier for us to work together and also you got a lot of guys that that uh that work hard man I know Sholo's gonna go I know Chick's gonna go I know Foley I know Mac everybody's gonna go hard so it makes it a, a whole lot easier this year what's the what's the focus for the defense going into this game? Shut them out. <laughs> always, always. Always, always, for sure. You got to get his muscles, man. You got a lot of muscles. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, you know, it's just just gives me more reason to, uh, you know, make sure I play at a high level and, and, and make them be quiet out there. And they have a brand new stadium. Uh, it's going to be rocking. And uh, what better way to, to uh, you know, empty that stadium than to jump out on them and, you know, make their fans go home a little early. Why don't they like you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I, I was mouthing off a little bit uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, some guys in the bleachers, you know, they said some personal comments, and uh, you know, I didn't really like that, and you know, I just, I just went from there. So, uh, but I love it. I mean, we've, we've had their number lately, and uh, you know, that, that's what matters more than anything. Us winning the game. I think part of the reason for the fact, maybe the, the relationship, is the fact that you owned these guys. Like, I think you're what eight and one against them in your career. Uh, I mean, I, that may have something to do with it. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I just think that what happened, uh, I'm not sure what year that was, but uh, with me mouthing off with them and, and kind of letting their fans get to me, which is something I don't do. But, uh, you know, we were up and uh, somebody said something that I didn't like and it was pretty personal. And, uh, you know, I just, as a man, I, it, it took over. Is it fun playing in Winnipeg? Is it enjoyable to go into that stadium? Well, no doubt about it. I mean, that's the, really the only place in the CFL that kind of reminds us of, of, of here. Uh, just the, the fan support. Uh, you know, there's always pretty much a sold-out crowd there. They get just as loud. Well, I'm not going to say just as loud, but they get loud over there. So, uh, you know, it, it's always a joy shutting those guys up and shutting their fan, opposing teams' fans up. And, uh, you know, it's no different than, you know, going to Winnipeg. A bit of adjustment from Ty Schmidt to go from the home run hitter to more of an intermediate receiver a little bit now? No, I don't think so. I mean, I think that's part of his game. Uh, you know, you just he just just so happens to have the speed to be that home run guy. But, uh, you know, he has all the tools to be an intermediate guy. And, uh, you know, you add that to his, his speed, that makes him that much more uh, dangerous. Did you see that danger of him last year towards the end of the season? Did you see the yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, we knew he uh possess big playability but uh we just wanted to fine tune you know that mid-range game because that's how you get more touches and you know when you have the speed that he does when you you know threaten guys deep then that can open up a lot of underneath routes tim burke kind of talked about his secondary question they're playing they're making moves is that kind of getting in the team's head when you can do that if you can you know force the plays but now you got the coaches talking about the secondary uh i don't know i mean i don't know what he said or the specifics of any of that, but uh, we can't worry about that. Uh, our job is to go out there and win, and you know our jobs are on the line just like the players over there. So if we don't perform, 
then uh, you know the same thing will be said about us. So we have to make sure we worry about us and perform to the best of our ability.